I would suggest not to do this. I'm just insanely desperate. I just passed by a production company. I'm going to just straight up ask people like, yo, what do you know about a position here? The problem is that they look so upset right now. A couple guys are like in an argument as I pass by. This is all part of the hustle. This is how you make it in New York. Yo, welcome again to this four-walled abyss in the heart of Brooklyn, New York. It's incredible in here. I'm so happy that I get to show off this incredible space to you guys. Obviously, I'm joking, and all of that really pains me, the fact that I'm just stuck in this apartment. But that reminds me, like, I didn't start this to become a vlogger, but at the same time, I want to make the best videos I can make. There's a constant fight of, like, am I documenting my day, or am I trying to make the best video I can possibly make? Yesterday, I went to Soho, and I tried to make, like, a vlog, like, a New York thing, and while I was there, I realized, like, I'm when I pull out this camera, vlogs. I don't feel comfortable and I've never felt comfortable with this. Now when I'm working and we're shooting like a social media promotional piece or something like that, I have been on shoots where I literally don't see the crowd forming around us and I'm just talking to the talent and I'm locked in, like absolutely focused. And then I call cut and then the talent is like feeling weird and I'm like, what's wrong? And there's a huge crowd around us. But there's something about the vlog thing that I just don't get down with. It just feels too self-involved maybe, and I'm just not a fan of that. I wanna make the best video I can possibly make. One, because like I feel uncomfortable making boring videos, but two, and maybe most importantly, like I want somebody to watch these videos and be like, this kid has talent, like maybe we can give him a job or something like that. And I feel like a vlog might be hindering that, and I don't know, that scares me a lot of times. But if you guys have noticed, like yesterday I didn't put out a vlog as well, and a lot of it was because like I'm just going through the, ups and downs of, of being unemployed. But whatever, forget all that existential stuff. Today we are going to go to my friend Ronald's new event. And I say friend Ronald because Ronald was an actor in my film and I had never actually met him before. And Ronald did an incredible job in the film, but one of the coolest things that Ronald did was he was the only person who showed up for the premiere of the film. Obviously my, my girlfriend was there, like shout out to her. She supported me so much throughout all of this, but Ronald was the only other person who maybe didn't have an obligation to be there. And that felt really good. Didn't have to be there and all of the other actors didn't have to be there, but Ronald showed up. Now Ronald is starting his new event space in Bushwick. Don't even have to ask me like, I will be there. So I was going to bike over there, but I need to check my car because I live in a part of Brooklyn where they will ticket you if you sneeze the wrong way. I need to go check my car. It's been there for four days. There's a good chance that it's towed. There's a good chance that it's booted because I have four tickets that I have to pay for. Three of those four tickets are inspection expired tickets and it's because my car is so old. I had a really hard time getting it to pass inspection. Then they ticket you, then you have to pay more money. And it becomes like this circle of like, I'm too poor to fix it, but I keep getting tickets. Okay, so I'm going to an event and I'm not actively looking for a job, which is the basis of this entire vlog, but I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm going to do at the event to hopefully get a job. I'm going to have my camera in my hand the entire time. If you ever go to an event and you're looking for video work, just have a camera in your hand and it's a conversation starter. And I would say on top of that, one of the best things you could do is put a top handle on your camera when you have a top handle on your camera. It's a video camera, not a photo camera, and hopefully that works out. But Let's go check on the car. Peace. We're good. No boot, no tickets. Oh, hell yeah. This breakfast of champions right here, pineapple spin drift. Sometimes the best tasting drink in the world. Other times the spectrum is delicious hot dog water. It's not even a spectrum. It's more of a binary. I didn't get a ticket and I didn't get a boot, but I'm lucky. Like if I got a ticket or I got a boot, it's just me. All I have to worry about is me, but for all like those like single moms out there, like I remember my mom having to pay like to repair the car like $1,300 or something at a time. And I remember how insanely hard it was for my mom. You know, to this day, my mom's like, yo, you should have kids, you should have kids, you're not getting any younger. And I'm like, don't you remember how hard it was for you? And I think about that all the time and one of my dreams becomes successful, right? But the dream is to buy an apartment complex to accommodate apartments for single moms and their children. I know how insanely hard it was for my mom in the 90s and the 2000s. So like in the 2020s, like what? It's only more expensive. Eventually, of course, like this is all like hopefully a bunch of single moms with their families living in apartment complexes together, hopefully looking out for each other's children and maybe building like a sense of community there. I know I'm not like really getting my thoughts out clearly right now because I'm like worried about the camera falling and stuff. But yeah, I feel like that'd be awesome. That, that, that'd be, that'd be the best. That'd be like, that's the dream. I was not 
not expecting that at all. I was just swinging by to like support Ronald on like a new space that he had opened up and then I get in there and it's just absolutely jumping. I was in there and then I already had my camera and I was gonna try to talk to some people, which yeah, some people said, what's up, whatever. The event was like, hey, do you mind shooting some video? Now, of course, like I don't expect to get paid. This is like an opportunity that just like kind of maybe fell into my lap. This is all a part of the hustle. This is how you make it in New York. Put one foot in front of the other and hopefully this leads to a job, a full-time job, or maybe a gig that'll just get me to the next month. The place is called r r NYC in Bushwick or East Williamsburg. I used to hang out here when I was young. Now I'm old and ugly and all that, but this is this is kind of a place where you want to come if you're a younger person. I gotta get something to eat, I'm starving, let's go. I'm driving to get food right now, but I just passed by a production company. I applied to a couple jobs there a couple times. So what I'm going to do is pass by, I'm going to just straight up ask people like, what do you know about a position here? I would suggest not to do this. I'm just desperate. And the worst they're gonna say is fuck off, but I've heard a lot of fuck offs. The problem is that I just passed by and they look so upset right now and it's Saturday afternoon. So I'm sure they're not exactly happy about working today. A couple guys were like in an argument as I passed by. Figure it out, just try to suss out the situation and I'm going to go up to somebody and be like, hey man, do you have any PA roles and how did you get on set and how could I possibly go about it? So those are the guys I just asked. I'm not gonna show them uh, on camera or anything like that, but I basically asked these two guys, um, hey, what's the best way to get on set? Uh, right now. Truly one of the first guys was just like meet somebody at the bar and like work for them And I was like sick. Okay. Yeah, I've heard that one before and the other gentleman was like, yeah You gotta know somebody and it's all about networking and I'm like, yeah, that's what I've heard And they're like, well, what would you want to do? And I was like, man, I'll do anything I, I have I'll, I'll grip and like I'll, I'll just try to get on a set I'll PA and they were like, yeah, man Like best thing to do is just try to get to know somebody. It's all about networking. Oh, they did give me this one tip though. They just said, hey, go to your rental houses and um, you wanna network with your rental houses and become friends with your rental houses. One guy was like, yeah, just go to Ari. And I was like, ah, oh, man, Ari? And they were like, all right, you probably yeah, wanna go to the boutique rental houses, which isn't anything I, I haven't heard before. But before all that, like one of the gentlemen said, it's really hard for everybody in the industry right now. Everybody's looking for work. So yeah, man, it, it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard out here for everybody getting into film. I don't know if it's ever gonna be possible for me unless I make a film, like sell a film or something like that. So when people ask me like, oh, why aren't you on a film set? Why aren't you working on film sets. This is the this is the exact reason why. I'm not on film sets because I can't get on a film set. Not like um, th there's a lack of trying. You got to know somebody. And that's it. That's what everything my entire life has ever been. Um, knowing somebody, networking, 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 knowing somebody. So I want to be clear how I went about that. I waited for a lull and I just ran over. Really, really nice. Really straightforward. I was ready for them to tell me to go fuck off and I was just going to keep it nice the whole fucking time. They understand a lot of people want to get in and you know they weren't assholes about it and that was, that was cool. I, I appreciate that from them. Not what you want to hear from people on a film set. I hope this wakes people up. Holy shit, this is actually much harder to do or much harder to get into than I thought. I'm not just sitting on my ass. People who wanna work in film aren't just sitting on their ass. It's a very limited number of spots. Like everything in life, it's networking and um, I don't have a network. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drown myself in a bowl of ramen that I really can't afford and uh, put it on credit and, and um, cry about it basically. Thank you. Thank you. Steve.